Hello, hello! In this tutorial I'm going to show you how to use the type tool in Photoshop. Now I've already selected an image, it's from Mrs Cog and I've double clicked that layer to unlock it so I can now work on it. So we're going to go across to our toolbar. The type tool is a little bit tricky to use, I'm going to show you the very basic way to use it. It's this T here now if I click and hold you'll see that there are four options. You've got your horizontal type tool which is what most of us would use, vertical type tool which you might find useful, vertical mask and horizontal mask. We're not going to worry about the masks for now, they're going to be in the future. Um, we're just going to select our horizontal type tool. Now you can see we have a little cursor. Um, it doesn't necessarily matter where you click on your image to start typing because we are going to move the type around once we are done. Um, this is where you'll get your control panel up and it's for the type tool and as I said before you're going to see which tool you've selected up here and here is where we can choose our typeface. Now um, there are quite a few in Photoshop, <clears throat> it's not a bad selection of of fonts as you might call them, I don't like the word font, <laughs> um, I prefer typeface um, and this is where you can select which one you want to use. Now I'm sure a lot of you are going to like the American typewriter so I've selected that. This is where you can select to bold your image or semi bold it or make it light. Right now I'm going to leave it exactly as it is. This is where you can change the size of your, of your type and I'm going to just make that 18. It is a little bit difficult to judge what size type you want. I will show you how you can edit it um, later on in this tutorial. So um, we're not going to worry about the sharp. This is where you can align it. We're not going to worry about that either because we're going to be moving our image around and we're only going to have one line. If you had two lines, you might want your centre text so you could have your lines um, centred. And this is where you can choose the colour. So we're going to double click that little box there. You can see at the moment it's it, the current colour is pink. It's saying the new is pink as well because I haven't amended that. So what you can do is you can use this slider here to go through your colour range. You can also click anywhere on that bar. That's another way of changing it. Okay, so I'm going to go for something, um, I think we're going to go for something blue, quite like this grey blue, that's a bit too dark, that one's better. So you can now see the current colour was pink, the new colour is blue, I can either cancel that and it will remain pink or I can hit OK to change that colour selection. So what we're going to do is just click anywhere on the image. And I am going to just type the word fairies. Oh. Okay, so we've got the word fairies. Now what I'm going to do is I want to move it. I'm going to select my move tool and I'm going to move it around my image. Now as you can see as I get towards the centre I get the vertical pink line to show me that I am in the centre. If I go to the middle I'm going to get I'm going to get a pink line in the middle and that you can see is dead center of my image. I want this at the bottom but I want it in the middle so I'm using that pink line that will appear as a guide. And I'm going to let go because that's where I want my text. Okay so the first thing we're going to do is we're not happy with the size. We're going to change the size of that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to my type tool that's the first thing you need to do, go back to your type tool. But what you also need to do is make sure you are on the correct layer. So the fairies layer, the layer that we've already typed, is the layer I want highlighted. If it's not highlighted, click on that layer and it will highlight it for you. Now, I'm going to hover in my word fairies and I'm going to click at the end now, I'll, now I've got my cursor on the correct layer, I'm going to click and I'm just going to drag that across. So I've now highlighted it. You can see I've now got my control panel up at the top again. I'm going to click and I'm going to change my type size to 24. 
I'm going to select my move tool and I'm just going to move that just to make sure it's still in the middle now I've changed my size there we go so we now have our word in the middle at the bottom of our of our document and we also have our two layers now a lot of you have been confused about layers so the one thing I would say is whichever layer you want to work on is the layer you have to have highlighted if I have my fairies highlighted I'm only going to be working on that if I have my layers my background layers highlighted I'm only going to be moving and working on that for example I'm now moving my background layer because that's the layer that I have selected if I select the fairies layer I can move the fairies layer so the other thing I'm going to show you is to try and understand layers a little bit I explained before that if you imagine this being your image and any layer you put over the top is a piece of tracing paper that you can still see through, you can still see your background image or transparency, whichever you'd prefer to imagine. But the order of these layers is very important. If I select my background layer, for example, I'm going to click and I'm going to drag it up so it's on top of my text layer, you're going to see my text is going to disappear because my text is underneath my main image. So that will give you a little idea of how layers work. They are literally one on top of the other and the background layer is usually your most vivid, your most, um, your, your, uh, the most saturated image, that's the one you're going to see. The other layers just sit on top of your background. I really hope that makes sense. Um, what else did I say? So we have used the type tool, we've changed the colour, we've changed the size, we've edited the size and we've moved our type around. So that is the basics of using the type tool. I hope you found this tutorial useful. Um, again, if you have any questions about this tutorial, please leave them in the comments. If you have any other questions, please email me. Um, if it is a complicated um complicated thing that you're asking me it will be in a tutorial I'm not going to try and answer you via email um, so thanks again for watching I hope you're finding the series useful and um, don't forget to go ahead and save your image I will see you soon bye <laughs>